All right, YouTube, what we have here is the TDK three speaker boombox high fidelity audio system. And with this unit, it's an inexpensive unit, $500. What you receive, you, you, you get a plethora of different connectors. You have your antennas for AM and FM, all of your audio connectors, RCA, uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, you can hook up pretty much any audio device to this unit, including the iPad, iPod, and iPhone. You also get the adapter as just shown there. Um, everything you need to, to get started is included in this unit. So we're pulling the unit out of the box. It's a, it's a beast, but it's beautiful. Uh, shiny black uh, facade. Um, three large speakers, two woofers, uh, one subwoofer, and you also get two tweeters, uh, over top of the two woofers. And like I say, it's shiny black, glossy, uh, very nice, solidly built unit, uh, very, very heavy, uh, very substantial when you, when you, pick it up uh, touch capacitive input selectors for changing between your various uh, audio sources right now we're going to hear a little something uh, from my cell phone hooked up via the 3.5 uh, millimeter jack we have a big daddy cane on deck warm it up cane if any of you remember that uh, so you guys check it out you be the judge of the quality of the, the sound here and truth be told, it's coming from an inferior audio file. The unit doesn't do anything to enhance the quality of inferior uh, audio sources. Um, so that's um, not a plus. But, you know, that's, that's life. It's not uh, TDK's fault. And I'm still calm and humble. You need another Some of the pluses include you have uh, equalizer, uh, like I say, the touch capacitive uh, input selector, the onboard mixer. You can mix between two audio sources at the same time. Uh, LCD track uh, display for MP3 title selections. Uh, it's AC and DC, so you can throw batteries in this bad boy and uh, carry it around. Uh, there are some limits to the uh, portability of it because um, it doesn't have a docking station per se right on the unit. You have to use a USB cable or wire to hook up your, your, your audio devices. Uh, some of the disappointments uh, include, you know, there's no remote, no remote control. Right now I'm hooking up the uh, my uh, uh, iPod Classic. So you're gonna hear some um, some Donnell Jones. We'll move back to that Donnell Jones, and right coming from the iPod Classic, it's a little bit better quality um, audio source, um, and you can notice the difference. But all in all, the sound is is really decent. It's relatively decent. It's not excellent. It's not superior. Um, and unfortunately, uh, it doesn't really match up with its price. Like I said, it costs, this unit costs $500, which is a decent amount of money. So you be the judge. I know you can't really hear uh, the sound quality for yourself over, over YouTube. Coming from my camera, going to YouTube, going to your speakers at home, or what have you. But all in all, I think it's a pretty, it's a relatively decent product. Uh, people are not going to flock out and buy it because of the price point. When it comes down, more people may purchase this unit. Um, I, I, I have to say it's a good unit and I recommend it.